right, y'all, I am back at you today with kind of a post-Hurricane Ian garden tour. Um, we actually did a garden tour just a couple days ago. Uh, I'll put a link to that uh, up at the top somewhere, but you can see what everything looked like. I just mowed the lawn, we got everything looking nice, and uh, we did a garden tour for the channel, and then uh, the hurricane hit us. And we're actually fortunate. I got to start by saying we're, we're fortunate. It didn't we didn't take a direct hit here on the East Coast, and um, our family was safe throughout the whole hurricane. So so were all of our neighbors. Uh, and we walked the neighborhood this morning. Everybody's uh, property was okay, including ours, except for our garden. So um, I'll go ahead and start here in our front garden, and we'll show you guys. You can see we have some destruction here. I guess first. You can see we used to have this fence here uh, with, with some jasmine growing on it, some Confederate jasmine, and the fence was blown off, kind of ripped up our brick wall a little bit. And then we lost, uh, we got, we have our new uh, gua, red guava here. It looks like it's, it'll be okay, but it ripped its, uh, the little tape that was holding it onto the post there. So I'm gonna have to, have to stake that back up. We lost several varieties of bananas here. I mean, we didn't lose the whole, you know, we have some other pups that'll grow back and when we cut these out, it'll shoot up more pups. But we lost, um, we, you can see we had a nice rack of, uh, I think these were Mona Lisa bananas going here. They needed a little more time, but you now they're, they're done. Um, this one right here was a praying hands banana. Uh, I don't think, I think I just harvested the rack off that one. Yeah, I did. So, and then it fell over. And then this one right here is a Mysore. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's gone now. Now, excuse me for a minute, everybody, but I got to clean the lens here. There we go. So, we're still getting some outer bands from the rain, uh, from the storm. I'll take you in the backyard and show you the river. We're actually still getting some flooding right now, but... Uh, Let's see, which way should we go? I'll, I'll, we'll go look up here real quick. Uh, let's see. I already, I had the ladder out because our gutters were just loaded with uh, gumbo limbo leaves. I cleaned all the gutters right before the storm, but the, the winds just totally loaded the gutters with stuff. You can see the front yard here. It's kind of like total, total destruction. Probably have a couple days of cleanup. But the car made it, the van made it through, and the boat made it through without getting damaged. So, thankful for that. You can see just tons and tons. I don't, I don't prune my cabbage palms. A lot of my neighbors do, so a lot of their yards don't look quite as bad as mine does. But I kind of like the shaggy look of the cabbage palms. Well, this is what I get. All right, let's see. You can see here a lot of our plants, these cabbage palm fronds are just crushed a bunch of stuff. We're gonna have to go through and clean up all these beds. If we, we have another banana down. I think that was a Mysore right there. I think this is a Mysore too. This banana's got a lean to it back there. I'm gonna have to prop that up. That's the only one I have of that one. And then over here, this is like this is like our little nursery area where we keep plants and pots and kind of try and rejuvenate some stuff. I, I had a feeling this was going to happen, um, so I moved. I actually moved two of our delicate bananas that I had in pots here uh, over here so they wouldn't get crushed. And I'm glad to see they didn't. But... All right, and then we'll go walk around. Let's see. We'll go back through the garden here. Here's my fence from up here. Bummer, bummer, dude. We've actually been talking about redoing this fence anyways, maybe making like a uh, an arbor or pergola thing right here. Um, or maybe even making the fence in like uh, the shape of a wave or something and then growing the jasmine up it. So I guess now's the, our chance to do that. Gonna have to do something. Let's see, which way should we go? Over here, here's a good example of why you want to put your hurricane shutters up. You can see we had a massive chunk. I guess this was like a 
some kind of chefalera that was growing like a massive, I mean, I don't want to say air plant, but kind of air plant for lack of better words. You can see it's a giant ball and it fell out of one of these cabbage palms up here. I guess it was growing up there and it fell down and hit this right here actually. It didn't hit it very hard, but um, you know, glad I had that shutter on. I actually didn't have, I left a couple of these off. I've already taken some off, but I left a couple off because this is a pretty protected area, but I put the rest of the shutters on on everything when when the forecast for our area went from tropical storm to hurricane so we're gonna have to climb around here so there's usually a path you guys can see right here there's usually a pathway under here that goes right through here and we're gonna have to just climb around it and then this kind of crushed this was like our leafy green uh, edible food forest type plants in here and a lot of them got crushed we still have our moringa uh, it needs to be pruned heavily. Um, you can see the Katuk fell over. And we still have, that looks like maybe longevity spinach right there and some of our uh, Lago spinach. So we still have some stuff that's alive in here. I think there was some, let's see, I don't know. Uh, we had two varieties of bananas. That one looks like it got worked pretty good. Same with this one. This area is not looking great. Overall, you can just see all the stuff we have down here. You can see back here, I forgot to unstack these boats. I had them all stacked. I keep them stacked under the, the awning here and they all got blown around in here. And then we'll move to the backyard. You guys can see, we'll, I'll show you the water down here. We're still getting some, like I said, some outer bands from the storm. I think it's about 50 miles north of us right now. Maybe a little more. So I moved the, all the boats up from the water. That's why that we had the one boat on the trailer in the garage or in the driveway, and then all the other little boats we moved up so they wouldn't float away. And they were they looked like they they survived. Got another banana down here. Saba. Uh, we got a lot of destruction back here. Uh, these bananas are still. I can't believe they're still standing. Got a nice rack on that one. And a lot of cleanup in these beds here. You see this, guys, look at this. It's just crazy. Just clean up everywhere. This is our avocado tree. We got some big snap branches up in there. And then the backyard's like total, total destruction. Take you guys back here. Camera's gonna get wet again, but you can see we're still getting some uh, storm surge on the river. And we have some flooding back here in the yard. Uh, we have a seawall right there where the dock is, where the dock ends, but uh, the, you can see the water's coming up over it. I'll clean this camera again. See the water's coming up over it. Woo! So a lot of cleanup back here. It's trampoline right here. Annalisa was smart enough to uh, come out here and have us take the safety net down before the storm. So you guys can see we got a lot of stuff on the trampoline, but it's not damaged in any way. Whoa. I think we're gonna have some more branches come down on us. I'm gonna get out from under this tree. Holy cow. See, our pool screen made it through the storm. Really excited about that. Those panels aren't cheap to replace. They're not easy to do yourself. You can, but it's not fun. We got a couple more varieties of bananas that look like took a pretty bad hit here. I think that's an apple right there. I don't know what that is. Uh, this might be the, um, oh, the rhino horn, yeah. You can see that has a nice healthy pup right there, so this one will be okay. We'll just probably cut that. It's got the death lane going on. We got more stuff built up against the doors here. Some of this I got out of the gutter. But really just a big mess overall. I mean, it's just a mess. And this one more time, sorry everybody. And then over here, just some more mess. 
Got some tea plants hanging in the yard right here. And here's another, I think this was another Saba right here. I had this one uh, staked. There's actually the stake is still on the ground. That's kind of funny. But the plant fell on our uh, mandarin orange here. And uh, these bananas will be ready to harvest. These are some big, nice bananas. So at least that wasn't a total loss. Let's see what happened over here. Some more mess here. And then we're back around up here to the front yard. It's really just a giant mess everywhere. So, uh, I'd like to start cleaning up, but you guys can see we're still getting hit by the storm. So, uh, and it just started to rain even more. So probably, I got all my gutters cleaned. Uh, and that's probably, when the wind dies down a little bit, the first thing I'll do is go through this front garden here and get it all cleaned up, burn some of this stuff back, and uh, I don't know, I guess start working on this fence too. Mess. But anyways, like I said, we were fortunate. Our house was, uh, was spared. Well, our lives were spared and our house was spared and uh, same with all of our neighbors. So really can't complain about the, the mess we have here. I hope everybody else out there watching made it through safely. Uh, until next time, everybody take care.